<clears throat> Hi um, and welcome on this really rainy Sunday morning. Um, I am here with Amy and Shalana who are part of uh, Team The Audition. Welcome. Well, yeah. actually, I'm in your house, so <laughs> I'm welcoming her to her own house. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the cat's gone now. He'll come back. We did have an extra friend, but he's decided he's not interested anymore. <laughs> now, The Audition is a short film um, being filmed here in Street. Is it all in Street? Street, Wells, mainly, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all so over far. the place. <laughs> Somerset. Let's say, say Somerset. Somerset. <laughs> yeah. um, now, people who haven't been following um, social media at home over this, tell us more about it. What is the audition? Okay, well, Amy has written it, so it only seems right <laughs> that you Fair should enough. explain what the audition is. The audition about. is about it's about the whole Hollywood uh, audition process, really. When we decided to do Key Like Hate Productions after we met up, last year uh, we decided to do like a filming project for people around the area who want to get involved as well and showcase their own talents. When we started thinking what we were going to do first I started to write more of a, a darker darker script and I realised that I was in, in out of my depth in a way. So whilst I was at Volkswagen getting my car serviced, in as, you do. as you do, Cash. <laughs> inspiration struck and I thought well why are we doing something dark for our first project and as actors writers directors creative people we've all had the bad auditions in our process in our in our time one for me being forgetting the lines to shakespeare during my audition for welsh college of music and drama which was quite humiliating so i said why don't i write something about auditions that go wrong and about an actress who Taylor played. No, you're, you you play I'm Taylor. Sure, sure. Shalana <laughs> played Taylor. Just who, method. Who, who's just quite frankly rubbish, really. And then Edgar, who plays the the agent. And it's just the case of an audition that goes horribly wrong. And it's just a complete farce, and it's just a bit of a giggle. Yeah. So we thought, why don't we take the mick out of the whole audition process? Yeah. And make a funny first film. Makes sense. In a way. There's loads of creatives. There's loads of creatives. So what you're, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I've, I've seen I've seen you play in a play before, yeah. and it was Shakespeare. Yeah. Oh, oh much ado about nothing. About nothing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I remember the lines on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I try. I I try to understand it. I'm not, I don't really understand Shakespeare very much, but when everyone else laughed, I laughed with them. So. <laughs> it must be funny. <laughs> so, it was, so I found it funny. <laughs> but what's your background in? Um, so oh, I started. Um, at what was Joy School of Dance um, that was at Strode Theatre when I was three. So I've kind of always been on <laughs> Strode from a young age. And then I went to Bridgewater College to do performing arts and I was like, yes, this is what I want to do for the rest of this my, is my life. my destiny, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I was like, at school I wasn't that cool and I was quite shy. And then uh, Bridgewater College kind of brought out a bit of confidence in me, but I was still like quite yeah. shy. Um, but I was like, I'm going to audition for drama school, I'm just going to do it. Um, and I got into Rose Bruford Drama School in London. So I was there for three years and I studied in America for a little bit as well. Um, and that the was talent. <laughs> <laughs> How different was it? I'm just blanking it. <laughs> How different was studying it in America than to here? England. Oh my god. Completely different. Completely different. Because even their comedy is different. Mm. Everything is kind of, it's just a completely different culture. Yeah, I found <laughs> drama school, Rose Bruford was very strict. And they always said to us if you're 10 minutes early to a class, you're early. If you're five minutes early, you're on time. And if you're there at the scheduled time, you're left. Um, and, you, you know... I'd have been kicked out with it. Yeah, yeah. I would have been as well. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing. Then, then you don't go into the classroom. You have to wait outside until no. it's acceptable to come back in again. So it's very, very strict. Um, and you're never really told that you're doing well or <laughs> you're good. You're just kind of always told that you're shit. Um, because they like to beat you down mm. to build you back up again. Right, okay. Bits of the skin. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, he's back. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> and then uh, 
drama school in America, so I went to the University of the Arts, which is more of an overall art college. So you had graphic designers, um, and, uh, more of a creative and space. Yeah, exactly, yeah. not just theatre kids. But obviously, um, I was in the department, the part of the school where all the theatre kids were. And I don't know why, but I just felt like over there, they're just not as strict. If you want to go to class and pay attention and put hard work in, then brilliant. But if not, then that's on your own back. You'll, mm. You won't get your grades. So that's the end of that. They're not mm. going to push you to pay attention and, you know, like not answer phone calls in classes. I've been in a class in America where someone has literally been on the phone to their mum. And they're like, what? Why are you not telling her to stop? <laughs> Whereas in England, they'd be like, you're disrupting everyone else. I don't yeah. give a shit. Well, you know, you're, you know, stop it. Um, so yeah, like discipline wise, it's a lot different. Um, technique wise, uh, I studied Uta Hagen, which is like a American version of Stanislavski. Um, and I did a lot of musical theatre out there as well. Okay. Um, whereas in uh, at Rose Bruford in England, um, I did a lot more like street theatre. You would have thought they would be more musical though, because of obviously it's Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, you got the West End. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think that that would be? Um, I just didn't want to go for a musical theatre course. That was all. Mm. So there are a lot of drama schools out there that have musical theatre courses and. Yes, oh. <laughs> um, and I just, yeah, I just wanted to go into straight acting, um, but obviously I did a lot of musicals at Street Theatre growing up and I kind of missed it a little bit. I'm not a brilliant dancer, I can sing, but I, I kind of got two left feet, so I was like, okay, if I actually apply myself to this in America, because I know I'm going to have to get grades and like, yeah. actually be good, maybe, you know, maybe I might think about going into musical theatre. Um, but it did make me realise how like hard it is to get into that side of the industry because you do have to be a triple threat. Yeah, it's all about the package. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. But no, it was it was great. And then I graduated from there over three years ago now, and I've been <laughs> a professional <laughs> ever since. And also have my fair share of awful auditions, which makes it easy to play this mm. role because uh, we've all know what it's like yeah exactly so. i don't think i know anyone who's had a had straight a auditions no every, you know. well nerves can take over as well when you get that exactly. into that zone and you just can't exactly and you really really want it to go well but yeah. the more you want it to go well it the more you, yeah. you start to find everything that you've Absolutely. thought and you've researched and you practice in front of the mirror or with a friend and that and then you walk into that room and there's a panel and you're like oh my god yeah what do yeah. I, do? I had one recently where in my head i just wanted to say to them i've been practicing this in my bedroom <laughs> and it was brilliant <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you've had this, like, it's like when you're doing your driving test though you can drive around perfectly as soon as the instructor sat there flicking that <laughs> yeah. and you're like Oh God, and I've got to make sure I look in the mirror, make sure I look in the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My parallel park was brilliant yesterday. Can you not just... <laughs> it's not always going to be perfect. <laughs> it's not going to be. <laughs> yeah, so, but that's just the life of, you know, an actor. So you just, like you said, you have to have a tough skin and drama yeah. school definitely helped with that. Um, and you just, yeah, you move on to the next and you just... You have to think to yourself that it just means that something bigger and better is just around the Absolutely. corner, you know. So, and Amy, so, what yeah. is your motivation to be an actor? What what made you decide this was the path you wanted to take? When I was younger, my brother not that long ago, not <laughs> not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> An ongoing joke about that a second ago. When I was younger, my brother used to be in the Royal Air Force, and I remember. There was a little eight-year-old Amy went to, to Bryson Alton to watch my brother's show, the drum group that he was in. And I remember sitting there in the audience. I was like, oh, my big brother's going to be on stage. This is amazing. And I sat and watched him and I went, oh, wow, I want to do that. Oh. And that's the reason why I got into it. I did my first ever show was Bugsy Malone at Hewish School. And I played Dottie. And all my friends were like, Ames, 
that name is just so you. <laughs> and I went, screw the lot of you, that's rude. <laughs> so um, that was my first, my first show. I went to Shrode College for three years, performing arts course, pretty much covered everything from, from acting, stage management, stage administration, arts administration, a lot, media. And, uh, it's quite handy. It's yeah. quite handy. So you can use those skills now for the audition. Yeah, in a way, yeah. Like I fell in love with doing backstage as well, the backstage area of things as well, um, which was really good fun. And I remember saying to the, the them saying, "Why do you want to come to show theatre and do performing arts?" And I said the same story. Like I saw my brother on stage, and I want to follow in my big brother's footsteps. And that's always the reason why I got into it. My niece now is saying, she, well, a lot longer ago, she turned around and said, "I want to do drama, ain't um, Auntie Amy." And I was like, "Oh, why is that? Good because you're a diva." And I'm a diva as well. No, so thanks. Dottie the diva. Thanks for that, Laura. I really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, when it runs in the family line, the acting side of things, we've all had from my grandmother used to dance on stage in the 50s, so I've always had that side of things as well. And it's just always been a passion to do the performing arts and be on stage and be creative. Now, I always thought that the acting was the side that I wanted to go into, and I still do, naturally, I still want to do it. But the last few years, I found more of a passion for actually writing. Um, oh, the cat's attacking your, attacking your curtains. <laughs> My mum is going to kill you. <laughs> so yeah, um, I found the passion for the writing side from chatting to friends who I worked with in, um, in a store in Clark's Village a while, um, oh, God, five years ago probably now, actually. And we're all talking about, oh, we can't stay in retail for the rest of our lives. What are we going to do? And, Another, another my friend, Amy, said, I can see you writing a screenplay one day. And so I was like, yeah, that ain't going to happen. God. <laughs> I I this sounds like it. another film that we've got here. Yeah, yeah. we're not going to do this for the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah, like, go into a song. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my God, a musical movie <laughs> about our know. lives. <laughs> give, it, sure. give it about five or six years. The retailers. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Don't. <laughs> Give me an idea, George. I'm going to do that now. Already, already started Focus on this one first. <laughs> so I started to, I, I was doing a late night one, one evening and I started writing, just got the phone out and I started writing this, this jargon. And I wrote this first paragraph and I went, oh, I think I'm onto something. A few years down the line, I've written three books. One is in currently in edits with a gentleman called Liam Cross, who's an incredible editor. Um, two were sat there not being touched while one's being edited, which yeah. is eventually going to go on to publishing. Fingers crossed. And then we met up in Home Bargains. Hence, we keep mentioning. Is that how you met in Home Bargains? No, you didn't meet in. We met, we met, up, met up again in Home Bargains. Can you imagine actually meeting someone in Home Bargains? Like, how does that I like you. You're going to be my friend. <laughs> Hanging out in the Christmas section. They always say there's more to Home Bargains than meets the eye. No, that's not how we met. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, got, we met during a, a half a sixpence. Yeah. Um, at the show, at show Theatre. Yeah. But we really met again so many years later. Because I went to London, I kind of like disowned <laughs> Somerset. <laughs> and then <laughs> obviously came back and was like, Amy. So and yeah, we started seeing half a sixpence in the middle of home bargains. <laughs> randomly. And then we decided that we should do something around the area. And then we started off, we went to the bed, didn't we? It was, always, it was in talks. For it was while. in talks, yeah. It was yeah. just like, a, oh, imagine if we... <laughs> imagine if we did our own theatre company. Yeah, that'd be great, yeah. <laughs> and then next day, like, I wanted to write something, for writing the screenplay, yeah. like my friend years ago mentioned. And then you said you wanted to do something as well. Film-wise. And then we thought, why don't we do something around the area so people can showcase their talents? And key light cake is here. Yeah, I remember meeting up with you, and I was like, right. I want to pitch the idea for us to join forces and just put, because we both want to make films, to put it under an umbrella. And it came out of your mouth before it even came out of mine. And I was like, brilliant, well, that's that decided yeah. then. You both love cake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of gathered that. Yeah. Like, how, what, how Do you know, we... I've got a bit of cake at home I haven't eaten for about three days. Mm. Massive Blake Paul tart from originals from work. And Garrett says, they're going, do you not have your cake yet? I was like, oh, cake. I mash that in the microwave. How though. can you just leave that on the side? I know. Yeah, that's weird. It's homemade and everything. Well. I bet you he's eating that by putting it home. Probably. Probably, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> sat there like, I'm going to Yeah, you're snoozing. Taking a selfie. Like, <laughs> 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 right, so, so 
so you've set up the company, you're working on the audition, have you got anything else that you're sort of thinking about doing in the future apart from yeah. that? Oh, and the cat's got opinions. Okay, um, yes. <laughs> 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 you're so <laughs> What are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> Shh. Um, <laughs> next year, um, I've got a film project in mind that's still going to go under the umbrella of Key Like Cake. Um, which is going to be a music legend. I can't find his face. It's just like, why? You just want to see attention. We'll move in a minute. Um, uh, a music led short film, like narrative. In essence, I don't like to say it, but it's basically a music video. Right. It's okay. a musical. It's not a musical. <laughs> um, but it's a lot. It's a lot deeper than that. Like I've got um, some local writers that have written some spoken word for me. Um, and I've got a song by a Brighton singer-songwriter called Ren, who has allowed me to use his song Blind Eyed, um, which means I can upload it to, <laughs> to YouTube and enter it into festivals right, okay. legally, um, which is nice. I don't want to do these things behind people's backs, mm -hmm. so it's nice that he's given us the rights to his music. Um, and yes, we're going to need a, a very Look. big... <laughs> A very big cast for that. Um, Shout out. <laughs> so if you want to get involved, please hit me up. But that will be... Wait, um, um, once the audition... Yeah. Yes, yeah I, I'll get it the first one. I think mm -hmm. new, new Year, I'll probably start seriously focusing on that project. Um, but again, that's going to kind of be filmed around here. And we want to use as many South West based creatives in front of and behind the camera as we possibly can. Mm. Um, but yeah, I've just, uh, obviously acting is my career, but I've always had just this kind of, I've, I've always wanted to kind of get behind the camera as well and just give it a go. And I think as an actor, it's good to have knowledge of other people's roles in the film industry. Um, so it might go terribly well and it might go well. Same with the audition, yeah, who knows? Know. But I think you we'll learn know. from it. You don't know where to try. Exactly. Mm. So that's it's amazing how many people actually do the double sort of yeah thing. I mean, like the film Bradley Cooper directed. Oh yeah. Star is born and was in it. Yeah. And he changed his voice things. as well, wasn't yeah. he? And he tra he said he spent hours and hours on end learning how to sing properly and play. Uh, play the mm. piano and guitar and stuff yeah. like that, but he still managed to direct and. But he yeah. understood then what he needed from people. Exactly. So, as much as it can be hard work, you've also got that knowledge yeah. of what other people are in, the situation they're in, and etc. Exactly. Mm. And we're like trying to create opportunities for ourselves as well because I think there's this misconception that if you want to be in the arts you have to be in London yeah. or at least a city but if you're going to be in any city you have to be in London um, and I moved back from London last year and I really wanted to prove people up there and down here that you can pursue a career in the arts yeah. if you work hard enough yeah. you can pursue it from anywhere um, so yeah we were kind of like look this is what we're, you know, we're sniffing your feet <laughs> Just don't do anything on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we just wanted cr to create opportunities for ourselves as well. Yeah. And that's what we're <laughs> doing. <laughs> I don't know what I do. Animals. But at least he's quiet, so... I don't know what you're trying to achieve. <laughs> so what... <laughs> It's almost like something's been dropped on the floor. Do you it? drop their dinner? No, it's your foot. <laughs> it's your foot. <laughs> so what's the plan with the audition then once you've got it filmed? Because you start filming next weekend, don't you? Yeah, we do on Sunday, yeah, in Wells, in Great Shakes and Runway Boutique in Wells. Thank you to them for letting us mm. use their establishments for the whole day. Um, Ames? <laughs> Because you want me to take this. <laughs> you I, take just it. Like, I just <laughs> feel like I've been talking for ages. I get a bit tired of my own voice. <laughs> Shut up, Shalana. I said the dream is to send it off to film festivals. Um, put a couple of little sneak previews on social media, on our sites, on, on the website as well. Uh, but to get it into the film festivals would be, would be the ultimate dream. 
to submit it and hopefully win some hopefully awards. get nominated yeah. at, get nominated, nominated at, least. at least yeah that would be just the to dream. be just to be recognized and know that someone out there has seen it and gone oh look what they've done that looks good that's that's something new and different yeah do you think um social <coughs> sorry social media has made this experience easier or harder because you've been able to maybe search out people oh that's definitely, it, definitely easier um if we didn't have social media now like we did like like now then the people that we've actually managed to contact to help out yeah. i don't think we'd ever find find them that no, easy and we've got some absolute gems as well we that have, we've we found have. through social media yeah because we know people around here yeah. but we only know a certain mm. amount of people so you've got edgar Edgar yes, Phillips, yeah. here's Edgar my list Phillips. of people. Yeah, Edgar's here. We've got, <laughs> We've got Edgar, who is playing the male lead. Um, Roger. Roger. Who plays the agent. Is the agent. You wait until I see him next time. <laughs> the flamboyant agent, which is with uh, this orange cravat that Ed- I'm going to get him. Edgar doing flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> it's unheard of, what? surely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, we did a rehearse reading last month and he was just... Oh, I was in tears. He was it was hilarious. It's so funny. Yeah. Just your your line. What, what, you, the way you just said Roger after your line, I was just, I was just gone. <laughs> no, Roger. Yeah, no. Well, that's the thing. That was the first time I'd ever met Ed. And we just... No, they bounced yeah, off each other brilliantly. It was, it was, the, the way they both delivered their lines and they're both just... Yeah. But that know. always helps when you've got someone that you can bounce off of. Because sometimes it's like drawing blood from a stone. But yeah. When you've got someone that you do just bounce off of, it's, oh, it's amazing. Cool. So I can't wait to work with him. Yeah. You know, at one point we were all just yeah, just we all had to stop, didn't we? <laughs> well, we 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 read the the audition, uh, the audition in, in um, a cafe in Glastonbury, and it was the first time I heard it read out. And like people must have thought there was something wrong, because I was there with just tears, and everyone was just like, "What's going on with those two? Something something happened? Something horrific happened?" And I was like, "No, we're just reading a script. It's fine." <laughs> so. Uh, the one in the before the actual audition in the film, um, are we allowed to say this? Is that yeah, 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 yeah. okay? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a part of the the, the audition um, the material audition the audition. for the audition yeah. is part of Amy's book, mm. actual book that right, she okay. has written. Um, so she said to me when I was just <laughs> reading it through in this cafe, she was like, "I'm just going to pre warn you, like." I might get quite emotional with hearing this out loud because this is the first time I've ever heard someone read my words, like my, my book, my baby. And I was like, no, nah. the way I'm going to read it, mate, you're not <laughs> going to get emotional, trust me, because my character, she's a rubbish actress. Right, okay. <laughs> so the arms are out and everything. It's like overdramatic Shakespearean and gestures. And does not understand grammar or punctuation at all. Um, so yeah, she wasn't crying. Well, she was crying, was crying but with laughter, laugh. laughter. Uh, rather than tears. There is a of. picture of that on our Instagram page, actually. Oh, and yes. you can see, I'm just like, ah! So <laughs> that, was, that was good. I was like, no, you're not going to cry. You're not going to cry, trust mm. me. So that's quite fun as well, getting to like ham up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> playing someone, an actor, playing an actor that's bad. That's it's, that makes that's, it's that's a, good, a hard trip to do though as well, yeah, isn't it? Well, <laughs> I think that scene will take a lot of takes. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of um, there's going to be quite a few outtakes, I reckon, for this one. But that's going to be handy as well because you can put that together as like a little blue. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Everyone, yeah. I don't know about anyone else, but as soon as I watch a movie, I go options outtakes. I yeah. love <laughs> that's what YouTube is great for. Yeah. Yes, I love watching those. Um, but yeah, this is the thing, because uh, we want to enter it into festivals, you can't put it online until it's kind of done the circuit. Um, and so to, to have little promo videos and trailers and behind the scenes type footage, just mm. to keep people engaged and you know up to date with how the shoot went and what's going on, um, it's brilliant for us, so yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have a lot of uh, blooper reels <laughs> oh, <for laughs> coming <sure>. out. <laughs> and no, how no. can people at home support us? <clears throat> so, um, we've got our website. We've got our website. www.plike. Www. Oh, God, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> we should know this, I'm sorry. It's because... It's like one of these, these ones you can actually just go ahead and load free ones onto there. Oh, right. It's a bit of a longer website name. Yes. However, we do have a support us page. So if you want to fund us, we can pay to actually have a website that doesn't have www.keylightcake.wixsite.com slash KLCP. 
or just go on to our Twitter and Instagram, which is Tea Like Cake Productions. And the links there. And the links are all there. Um, but yeah, you've, we've got pages to the people that we're working with, so if you want to check them out, you can. A little background story of why we did it as well, why we, why we created this. Who we are, and um, yeah. There's a YouTube link as well, which um, we've got one it's video on me yapping yeah. to my camera in the bedroom. <laughs> Which I'm not even sure that's related to this. <laughs> she, could have done, she could have done absolutely anything. <laughs> <laughs> Webcam and plug in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Amy seems to be taking a new direction <laughs> in the film world. Um, but in, in terms of supporting us, if you want to get involved with our future projects, then feel free to drop us an email. Our email is all over our social media again. Tea Like Cake Productions on Instagram, Twitter, or our website. Um, our I'm going to get you a banner. Thank you. Well, next time you do this, uh, you, like. you should just get like a, pe like a piece of paper. <laughs> yes. Uh, so our, our email is there. And even if you have like no experience, but you want to get yeah, involved with something, in the door yeah, get involved then... That's cool. Like we want to hear from you. We want to help people out that are in the community that are creative. We want to use our experience and our background that we've gone through to help other people who want to progress in this sort of environment, this sort of career in a way, and and help put that one thing on the CV so people who you want to go to professional companies and go, oh look, they have done something. Yeah. So it helps them with their future yeah. as well. Exactly. So if you want to support us that way, that's great. Obviously, we've got our Instagram and our Twitter, so if you want to follow us or like our stuff, then that would be cool. Um, and then, financially, we have a support us page on our website, so even if you want to donate 50p, that's it all helps. So, you can we could buy a Greg's us. donut. Exactly. Not for us, Not for, for, us. Like, no. one of, for Edgar. Greg's <laughs> Edgar doesn't eat cake. Oh. <laughs> Greg's donuts are now a pound. Really? Yeah. Is that bad? Oh, my lord. It's Greg's. You don't expect, <laughs> you don't expect the donuts. To be a pound, that, that's surely. like gourmet stuff right there. <laughs> I remember when Greg's was sixty five p for a donut. Well, Greg's man. It's I like know. Freddo's. Freddo's used to be ten p. You have to have a mortgage. Uh, you have to have a mortgage for a Freddo now. <laughs> I actually saw a thing on Facebook. <laughs> right, that said, people who were born in the like eighties, nineties will moan about. I saw this. The, list of the, list. Freddo's. the Freddo's price of Freddo's. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember going to uh, the brewers, no, two brewers, I don't know if you've ever yeah. been there, it's not the two brewers anymore, and if you had a kid's meal, like chicken nuggets and chips, they used to give you a free Freddo with your meal. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's life changing. So I remember when Freddo's were free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you didn't eat any of that chicken nuggets and chips, it was but just the Freddo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm full, but I can still eat the Freddo. Yeah. <laughs> so my niece says she has a dinner stomach, and then she has a pudding stomach. Yes. And she says, I've done my my dinner, my dinner now, my, my dinner tummy is full, <laughs> but I have room in my pudding tummy for the pudding. Yeah, well, that's understandable. Yeah, right? I fancy yeah. pudding. Yeah. Still I'm not hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah. Quite right. Well, <laughs> we got off track a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just talking about the seat. We I lost cake! <laughs> I just uh, just can't help it. I'm completely distracted. Donuts. I think we've got to go past Greg's actually. In a way. Yeah. That's convenient. We don't have to, but we will. Yeah. <laughs> well, screw McDonald's now. They got my my order wrong twice in a day. So. Oh, I have that all the time. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Although we love our community. Yeah. They always forget our curry sauce. I have every time. Curry sauce. Like, where's the curry sauce, man? You can't have chicken nuggets without curry sauce. <laughs> Well, I was slightly hanging the other the other Sunday, and we were going to Comic Con, so I like quite early, so I felt like I needed some sustenance. Yeah. And I'm a vegetarian, oh. and I ordered like a bagel, breakfast bagel. Yeah. And with Philadelphia what, on it. What with Philadelphia on it. Right. And what came out was a meat filled <laughs> a breakfast bagel with every meat item you've ever known stuffed in it. Oh, no. <laughs> like, God, that's just rude. That, that is, is rude. Just... Someone's not taken the care. No. To look at that or order. they just <laughs> did it to like yeah. that was funny. That funny. <laughs> but we are all about community absolutely but we yeah. love the community yeah. and McDonald's in the street if you ever want to support our film <laughs> 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 um, so we're looking at sort of next year for the audition to be completed oh, it's going to be released next year I yeah it'll right. definitely be released next year hopefully like early like spring but 
we can never get the time on these yeah. things. We thought we were going to film in October, <laughs> so... But when it comes to something creative, you'd rather take your time and make, and make something it. that you're proud of. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly, sure. and we don't want to rush it for that exact reason. Eww. Yeah, yeah, exactly, mate. <laughs> yeah. This cat can open doors. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, fantastic. Thank you for chatting with me today. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm looking forward for having to us seeing you <laughs> in your home. Yeah, in your lovely home. <laughs> it feels like Christmas and it's great. Um, I want to come to your Shalana, okay? Yeah, next yeah. time we'll come We're all to We're going to come to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, make sure you follow on Instagram, Twitter, um, and the website address will be on there rather than us having to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> Please repeat it. But we'll make it easier eventually. C- can I... No, not no, nothing. I was like, should I do a shout out to everyone? Yeah, really yeah. shout out to everyone. Okay, right. So, do you really quick? I promise. So um, we don't matter. Um, shout out to Screw the founders. Our assistant yeah. director, Thomas Anthony Lay. He was getting his book published uh, this year. Uh, keep a look on his. We'll see if we can put his lead details on as well because yeah. that's a massive achievement for him. Our cinematographer, Richard Farrant. Oh, I'm gonna cut too. I feel left out. Oh, <laughs> start again. Start again. <laughs> right. Assistant Director Thomas Anthony Lane. Um, cinematographer Richard Farrant. Sound Operator George Locke. Production Manager G. Cole. <coughs> we were going to say something else, but no, we, we can't. can't. We can't, yeah. Um, our Art Director Phoebe Waterstone. Our Runner Bethany Lewis. Our Editor Rhys Denton. Edgar Phillips. Oh. And Alfie Perry. <laughs> And everyone else that's going to be involved. Because you know, Cause cause you know that the cast and crews is going to go. Yeah. If you need a clapper. Brilliant. Yes. No we will need more people in the background at Great Shakes as well for um, extras if you're if you're involved on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be around on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> I never shy away from an opportunity like that. Not to be in front of the camera. It, no. If anyone want, wants to come and you know just witness and watch this filming. Yeah. That's we're always putting on where we're going to be filming yeah. as well. So if you want to come see what we do... However, if you do come and watch, we might have to drag you in to like, <laughs> do stuff you for us as well. Yeah. <laughs> you don't look like you're doing anything. Come on. Exactly. I've got nothing better to do. Come and tea here. time. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I wish you all the very best in production. I'll Thank see you. you next Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see you next Sunday. <laughs> Professional stalker is at it again. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs>